This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Ha'ak, Hudash, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Ha'ak, Hudash, Barak, Thumb, to use Aquanium, Wa'akim, Wa'akwafium, you know, you elders, you brothers, you sisters, the whole full elect out there labor and keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure, and of course, keeping faith in Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai, in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Peshai, Bon Yashra'ala, and this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit and Pavi Ha'abashim Shai on treasures in heaven, right? So I pray this could be an um, edifying lesson, exhorting lesson, a faith builder, you know, to the hopeful elect out there. You know, mainly you brothers, you know, that's out there laboring to get that opinion, you know, storing up your treasures in heaven, you see, because that's where our mind is, man, on the kingdom of heaven, not on this earth, man, you see, because this earth is corrupt, you know, this earth is defiled, this earth is polluted with wickedness, man, so if you store up your treasures upon this earth, that's where your mind gonna be at, you know, and that's like the scripture just said, thieves could break through and steal, moth and rust doth corrupt, but guess what? Our mind is on the kingdom of heaven, you know, and we're storing up our treasures in the kingdom of heaven, man, by laboring, doing this work, praying, fasting, having faith in Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, feeding Yahweh Shai his lambs, his sheep, his lambs. So that's us storing up our treasures in heaven, and moth nor rust can corrupt. Thieves cannot break through and steal. You see, the Lord said, you know, well done, thou good and faithful servant, to those that basically flipped the talent that the Lord gave them. You know, and he said, I'm going to make you ruler over many things. And you was faithful over a few things. I'm going to make you ruler over many things, man. You see? So we got to keep doing this work, man. Keep storing up our treasures upon, um, in heaven, Salakia. Right? Keep storing up our treasures in heaven, man. Let's read it again. Matthew 6 and verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Right? For where your treasure is, there will your heart lob your mind be also. You know? So if we're storing up treasures in heaven, that's where our mind is, that's what our mind is focused on, man. You see? Now if you're storing up treasures upon this earth, your mind is focused on the things of the world. You see? So you don't want to do that, man. You, you don't want to have your mind fixated on this on a society that's about to collapse. The scriptures say what? Remember Lot's wife. That's why she got destroyed, man. Because she still was, you know, um, attached to Sodom and Gomorrah. You know? So we got to detach, fully detach from this place. Forsake everything for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And keep storing about treasures in heaven, man. You see? And the Lord's going to give you a hundredfold just for that, man. Let's read that as a matter of fact right fast. So we're going to stay in the book of Matthew. You know, get a couple precepts in the book of Matthew, right? Matthew chapter 19 and verse uh, 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and follow thee. You see, so when you forsake everything and follow your house shy, that's you storing up treasures in heaven, man. Because that's what the kingdom of heaven is an everlasting kingdom. It's going to endure forever. You see, a righteous kingdom, man. Power and rulership over the nations. You see? Being, you know, in them new bodies, right? Being able to travel through the galaxy, the different planets, you know, having, you know, control over the elements, you know, all of that, man. Perfect sight, perfect vision, perfect hearing. That's what we're storing up our treasures at, man. Not upon this world, man. This corrupt world, man. Right? So it says, what shall we have there for? I read from the top, Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have there for? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, so guess what? The apostles are back on the earth. Read me in return, coming back to a generation, you know, each generation. Right? One generation passeth away, Ecclesiastes 1 and um 4. One generation passeth away, and another one cometh. But the earth abideth forever. You know? So that's them coming back in the regeneration. They came back, man. Right? And they, they ain't out there prophesying as we speak. So it says, 
20, verse 28, Matthew 19, 20, 28, and Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Man, so it's gonna be order, it's gonna be rank in the kingdom of heaven. You know, you have Yahweh Shai right under him is um King David, then the rest of the twelve, because you know the apostle um Peter was King David. And the Lord said, I'm gonna make you ruler, um, no, I'll make you the head of the church. You know, I believe if I'm not mistaken, right? But that's 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 how you know that I was going to King David. You know, also those short mercies of David was passed to, you know, the Apostle Peter. Because the Apostle Peter denied our Lord three times, man. You see? And he had the Lord had mercy on him. You see? So that's how you know um that's spiritual that the Apostle Peter the one asking this question too. Right? So you can have Yahweh Shai, then King David, which was the Apostle Peter, if you can receive that. Then the rest of the 12 apostles. Then the rest of the 144,000. On down to the one third. Then the two thirds going to get born through the elect. The wicked Israelites that die on this side are going to get born through the elect. So it's going to be order. It's going to be rank in the kingdom. And all of them people are going to be righteous, man. Right? But eating, um, but um, yeah, they're going to be order and rank. So let's read that one more time from the top. Matthew 19, 28. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, meaning truly I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Right, so I'm gonna get another precept. Let's get Matthew, the 20th chapter now. Right, so it's the next chapter down. And we're gonna start at verse uh, one. Right, straight from, start at verse one. So it says, For the kingdom of heaven is likened, like unto a man that is in householder, which is Yahweh Shai, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. Who's those laborers? The prophets, the men of the Lord, the servants of the Lord. Right? Then it says, uh, and when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, and that penny is what? The, the kingdom. That's our spiritual paycheck. You see, our reward, you know, for doing, for laboring, you know, in his truth, right? Um, and when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went, and we were sent out to the vineyard to teach and preach to the house of Israel. The Lord said that in Matthew, the um, fifth chapter. Let me read that right fast. Right, Matthew 5. No, 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 it's not Matthew 5. It's Matthew 10. Right, Matthew 10 and verse 5. These 12, Yahweh Shah sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, the other nations, and, and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as ye go, preach, meaning prophesy, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, so that's what we're doing through the spirit. All right, so it's verse 2 again, Matthew 20 and 2. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. You see? So in the third hour, you have people standing idle, man, not doing the work, not laboring. All right? Let's see what he said unto them. And said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, I will give you. And they went their way. Right? Again, he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, we know Yahweh shall come back in the twelfth hour at midnight. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle and saved for the dumb. So even right now, because we're in the eleventh hour right now, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh shall make a second coming soon. So right now, you got Jake's that's standing idle. You see? But guess what? Those that um come in his last hour, you know, they don't get the they won't get the same reward as those that have been laboring. You know, um, since the first hour, since the third hour, and the sixth and ninth hour, you know, they don't get the same word, which is what? The kingdom of heaven, right? But it will be order and rank in the kingdom, right? So it says, uh, and about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle and saying unto them, why stand ye here all the day idle? They stand to him because no man have hired us. He has said, he saved unto them, go ye also into the vineyard and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto the steward, call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. 
And when they came that were hired about the 11th hour, they received every man a penny, that spiritual paycheck, that reward, you know? But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, These last have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, like Jake's that come in the last minute. You're going to have a lot of believers coming in by, you know, seeing miracles, you know, type of stuff, believing, and they're going to get saved, man. Yahushua told, um, I believe, the, the scribes and Pharisees, the harlots and the publicans are into the kingdom before you. You see? So we got to always remember this, brothers. You know, you're going to have a lot of jakes coming in the last hour. You see? And they're going to get this, the, the same penny as us, man. The kingdom of heaven. Right? So it says, saying, these lads have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? And we all agreed with Yahweh Bashim al Shah. That we're going to do this work, we're going to labor, you know, and you know, be the Lord's will, we get that penny, the kingdom of heaven, that spiritual paycheck, that reward, you see? So we all agreed that, right? Verse 4, and we all just want to be a part of the elect, man. We just, we just want to make it, get them new bodies, you know? We don't want to be a part of the wicked Israelites that, that, that got to get born into the kingdom, you see? Nah, man, we don't want our remedy to have to be deaf, you know? We heard the word, we fear the Lord, and we're trying to do our best to receive that penny, Right? So it's like a humility, you know, mindset brothers got to have as well, right? So it says, um, verse 14, take that thine is and go thy way and I'll give unto the, this last and even as unto thee. Is it is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first and the first last. For many be called, but few chosen that's another thing i remember a lot of jakes getting called into the truth only a few is going to be chosen and receive that penny you know receive them them treasures you know that they've been storing up in heaven all right let's get matthew the 25th chapter now all right matthew 25 and verse 14 for the kingdom of heaven is as a man yahweh shy traveling into a far country at the right hand of the most high yahweh who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. Now watch this. And unto one he gave five talents, and unto another two, and to another one. To every man according to his several abilities. So the Lord gave brothers different talents, you know, different gifts in his faith. Some brothers got more talents than other brothers, you see? But with your talent, you have to flip it. You have to uh, 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 do the work of an evangelist. You know, and basically um, return it back to Yahweh Shai um, with usury, right? Let's read it. So it says, and unto, and unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his own severability, and straightway took his journey, right? So that's when Yahweh Shai went back to the um, the right hand of the, that's when he went to the right hand of the Mosai, right? Verse 16, Matthew 25 and 16, then he that received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents you see so he flipped that five talents meaning what he was gaining he got um he was bringing in fruit you know what i'm saying he was um growing in the spirit growing in the truth because you may come in the, in the truth only knowing a couple precepts you know that that could be one talent your only talent may be prophesying the next thing you know you start getting good at the history you start studying the linguistics you know you start becoming a help you know you start becoming friends of the prophets you know giving brothers waters good at making the signs good at making garments you start growing, you know, start flipping your talent, you see? So it says, uh, read that again, Matthew 25 and 16. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained another two. They flipped it, right? But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. So that one talent could just be, you know, being a help, you know? And he digged it, man. You know, he, he dig into the earth, he hid his Lord's money. He said, I'm not even gonna, you know, I got this talent to help, but I'm not gonna help. You see, let's read on down. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh, the second coming of our, of our Lord, and reckon it for them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought another five talents, saying, Lord, thou delivered, deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more, right? His Lord said unto him, well done, 
thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, right? The scriptures say, you know, our light affliction, you know, uh, it's a, you know, um, what was that precept and wisdom of Solomon? Let's read that right fast. Wisdom of Solomon chapter three and verse, uh, I want to get straight to the point. Verse five, and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For the most I proved them and found them worthy for himself. So I'm going to go back to that read more of that. But that was a proof I wanted. You know, a little chastisement, we're going to get greatly rewarded, man. You see? So the Lord said, I made you faithful. You, know, you have been faithful over a few things. But I'm going to make you rule over many things, man. You know, power rulership over the nations. You know? Brothers, man, we coming from the ghettos, the slums, the bottom. You know what I'm saying? We, we haven't, you know, um, really known how royal we've been, you know, since the split. You know, the 40 years of peace, you know, King Solomon, then a split happened. And from there, man, we've been catching hell. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they over to they destroy the temple again with the um the the, the Romans, you know, then now, you know, for 350 years, we didn't even know who the hell we was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? From the time of um like six around like sixteen nineteen to uh, nineteen sixty-nine, around that time, we didn't know who the hell we was, you know, three hundred and fifty years. You see? So we we going from, you know, uh, the bottom, the ghetto, the slums, you know, to, to uh, royalty, man, back to royalty, because we always was a royal nation, going back to royalty, back to, you know, ruling over the nations, you know what I'm saying, putting them under our feet, you see, so man, the Lord's going to make you rule over many things, man, some brothers may have their own planet, you know, rule over this, you know, these nations, you got to do this, and you know, brothers can have their different, you know, um, respective, respectable lots, man, in the kingdom of heaven, right? So, uh, where am I? Okay, verse 21. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over, over a few things, and I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, and I'll make thee ruler over many things. And sit down to the joy of thy Lord. Now watch this. Then he which hath received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not stooped, straw, slacking. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast, that is thine. He said, listen, I just got this one talent you gave me. I didn't flip it, I, you know. I see what Yahweh Shah said. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchanges, and then at my coming, I should have received mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him. So you get your talent removed, man. If you're not, you know, um, I'm perfecting your talent. Whatever your talent is, man, whatever it is, you got to perfect it, man. You know, you could be prophesying, prophesy, uh, help, help. Just believe, believe, man, have faith, pray. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, make signs, make garments, you know, um, good in the language, linguistics, the history, going to the history, you know, teach, you gotta teach, you see? Apostle being an apostle, you know, it's, it's different um, talents and different gifts. You know, Paul was speaking about that. Some apostles, some evangelists, you know, some prophets, you know what I'm saying? Some helps, some, you know, uh, good in the language, the linguistics. You see, so whatever your talent is, you know, you got to perfect that and um, uh, and make it where the Lord can receive that with usury, man. You see, you basically flip your talent, you know, grow. So verse 28 again, Matthew 25 and 28, right? And it reads, take therefore the talent from him because you don't want to get the, you don't want to get the Holy Spirit taken away from you, man. You, you don't want to get your talent taken away from you and given it to him, which have 10 talents. You see, so if you um taking this, you know, for granted. The Lord could take away your talent and give it to the other brother that have 10 talents, man. Right? For unto everyone that have shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that have not shall be taken away even that which he have, man. And cash ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. So that is a terrifying thing. Right? So listen, brothers, keep laboring, you know, whatever your talent may be. Uh, growing it, you know what I'm saying? Flip it, you know, so when the Lord returns, he can receive it with usury, man. All right, let's get 1 Corinthians uh, 
a tool, right? Because we're doing what we was commanded to do, man. First Corinthians 2 and verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High Yahweh have prepared for them that love him. You see? And scripture talk about the love of the Most High is when you keep his commandments. Let's read that in 1 John. Right? And what did he command us to do? To believe on his son. You know? And we were sent to do what? To do the work. You know? So that, that was a commandment in itself. Go out and feed Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, his lambs, his sheep, his lambs. You know? You know, basically, we, we, we've been given talents. We got to flip that talent, man. You know? And keep pushing. We've forsaken everything. And low well, we can receive a hundredfold if we continue enduring. Understand that, man. School, but that's us throwing up what our treasures in heaven, man. In the kingdom of heaven, where moth no rust of corrupt, with thieves do not break through and steal. First John five and verse two. Right. Let's start verse one. Whosoever believeth that Yahweh Shai is the Hamashiach, the Anointed, is born of the Most High Yahweh, and every one that loveth him, that begot love of him also, that begotten of him. But this we know that we love the children of the Most High. When we love the Most High Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the love of God, right? For this is the love of the Most High Yahweh that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. You know, so that's that's those that love the Most High, those that are keeping his commandments. You know what I'm saying? To the best of their ability, rehearsing righteous sacks, praying, you know, fasting, you know what I'm saying? Um, going out to the highways and the byways, teaching and preaching and prophesying, that's showing them that that's showing that they have faith. In the Mosa, and they love the children of Mosa because they teaching the word, man. They teaching the sheep, the lambs, the sheep. You see, so back to First Corinthians two and verse nine. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Mosa prepared for them that love him. So us talking about treasures in the kingdom of heaven, we don't even know how much treasures we got stored up, man. You know, we don't we don't have a clue. You know, the Lord, man. Listen, when that time come, he's he, man. The Lord literally said, you've been faithful over a few things, but I'm going to make you rule over many things. You see? So, brothers going to be like on a whole nother level, man. Just keep doing the work. Keep storing up them treasures, brothers. Let's get a couple more precepts and that'll be the lesson. We're going to get 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, right? And verse 3. And it reads, right? 1 Thessalonians 1 and verse 3, right? I'll start at verse 2. We give thanks to the Most High Yahweh always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Yahweh Mashiach and the sight of the Most High and our Father, knowing, brethren, we love your election of the Most High. You see? So remembering what? Without ceasing your work. Don't cease, man. The like, scripture said, what? Pray without ceasing. You're supposed to be doing this work without ceasing, man. Daily edification, daily exhortation, man. Daily studying. Daily watching videos, daily praying, you know, fasting as much as you can, you know, that's our work of faith and labor of love, you see, and patience of hope in our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and the sight of the Most High and our Father, knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of the Most High, you see. Uh, mm, this whole thing is good. Look at the next precept, which I had was Hebrews, right, chapter 6. All right, we're going to get Hebrews chapter 6. In verse uh, 10, for the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. You see, he's not gonna forget that you've been, you know, you've been given 10 talents or five talents or two talents and you just been flipping it, you know what I'm saying? Doing the work, you know, um, um, enduring. You see, the Lord not gonna forget that, man. Understand that. So let's read on down. For the Most High Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. What being diligent, you know, giving diligence may thy calling and election short. You see, verse 12, that ye be not slothful. Don't be like that wicked and slothful servant, man, and hide your talent from the Lord. Hide the Lord's talent. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises, man. So we got to keep enduring. We're going to inherit those promises, you know, our treasures in heaven that we've been storing up since we came into the faith, man. You see, and even in our past life, man, you know, scripture say what the um the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So the prophets have been doing this since the beginning, man. You know, all them treasures, man, <laughs> man, brothers, can be a whole nother level, man. You know, whoever, you know, brothers was in a past life. 
you know, the, the Lord going to, you know, reward them for the work they did then. You know, you got Jonah back on the earth. You got Ezekiel back on the earth. You got Jeremiah back on the earth, Isaiah. You know, you got all these, you know, prophets, men of the Lord, King David, you know, uh, all his mighty men, you know, all the works, the Maccabean brothers, you see, they're all back on the earth, you know, majority of them, and they're going to get rewarded for the works they did in their past life, in this life, you see? So they got a lot of treasures in heaven, man. The kingdom of heaven going to be an everlasting kingdom. Let's read that, and I'll, that'll be the lesson. So Psalms 145 and verse uh, 13, and it reads, thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And thy dominion endureth through all generations. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, upholdeth all that fall and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon thee that thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand and satisfies the desire of every living thing. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, is righteous in all, his, in all his ways and holy in all his works. Right now, watch this. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. Right, he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He will all. He also will hear their cry and will save them. You see. So, what's the desire of those that fear him? The kingdom of heaven. We desire a righteous kingdom, a righteous world on this earth where righteousness is being established at the four corners of the earth. That's what those that fear the Lord desire, man. You know, we desire to never go off again, never sin again. We desire them new bodies. We desire Yahweh Shah to come back. The Lord got us, man. Right, let's end it off with this one as a matter of fact. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 57. But thanks be to the Most High Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, storing up treasures in heaven. You see, flipping your talent. Right, always abound in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So all the labors brothers been doing is not in vain in the Lord, man. The Lord sees it all. He remembers it all, man. You see? So we have a lot to look forward to in these last days. So I'm ending right there, man. Um, Listen, brothers, treasures in heaven, man. Keep storing up them treasures in heaven. The Lord getting ready to reward those that love. As a matter of fact, Salakia, I got to go back to wisdom of Solomon, third chapter. Let's read this. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and verse 1. But the souls of the righteous, the elect, are in the hands of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. Right? In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken from misery. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. You see? And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. The Lord can make his ruler over many things, man, greatly rewarded. For the Most High proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. You see, one more time. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, man. You see, rule over many things. Those that, that's that treasure in heaven, man. Where moth and rough do not corrupt. Where thieves cannot break through and steal, man. We're not going to have to worry about people trying to break in our, our palaces in the kingdom of heaven, man. We're going to have more than one palace. And they're not going to dare to even think about it. They're going to be our servants, man. They're going to fear us, man. Because we're going to be gods, you know. Children of the Most High, Yahweh. You see, under under um Yahweh Shai. You know, under King David. You see, because Yahweh Shah come back to establish the throne of David, man. Right? Let's read that one more time from the top. Wisdom Simon 3, I'm start with 7. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord, Yahweh Shah, shall reign forever. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints. And he have care for his elect. So the most has care for his elect, man. So he can't wait. Scripture say, you know, is our father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. He can't, man, the Lord, he already got everything, you know, set up, man. Everything's already prepared for the elect, man. You know, so Lord, we're part of number of the elect. Continue enduring, brothers. Any of you sisters listening, you know, keep doing what you got to do. Being submissive, you know, being humble, being meek, being quiet. You know, um, believing in Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. You brothers out there, man, whatever your, your lot may be, to be a prophet, you know, uh, a teacher, a help. 
good in the linguistics, history, you know what I'm saying? Um, giving alms, whatever your, your lot is, man. Making signs, garments, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Perfect that, man. Do not hide your talent. So with that, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha, Wadash, double honor to the elders and apostles of Green Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom.